beautiful people out there in the world. Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today we have Looney Tunes back in action. So the five awesome looking movie toys released by Wendy's back in 2003. Let's get them opened up and have a closer look. Well, first up in the set we have Daffy Duck. And I'm gonna, there is no specific name on the package. So we're just gonna call it the Daffy Duck Racetrack. And inside, I find this curious. It's a little Toys R Us like $5 instant rebate coupon type thing. So that's always awesome. I love Toys R Us. And then a bunch of stuff on the back that nobody ever reads or cares about. And then here is a little instruction sheet. And so here is Daffy Duck. And you can see it's a little wind up car. This is kind of cool. And underneath you got this little, little thing that comes in and out there. It keeps them on the track. So there it reads Looney Tunes on the front. So it's a little sticker. There's Daffy sitting there. He's just kind of stuck in place he doesn't come out or anything and then here is the track which comes in four pieces and it just comes together it goes together like a little puzzle and forms like a little street area so let's get this put together real quick and you can see these two pieces here go together and then it reads looney tunes back in action right here and right here and then you can see it just it makes the street area like it looks like a construction area and so what you do here is you wind this up oh let's hold the wheels we'll wind up daffy duck and <laughs> as you can see mine's kind of warped because of being in the package and everything so if you get this set definitely try to compress this under like put a big heavy book on these and kind of flatten them out and it'll probably work a lot better because when i do it <laughs> this whole thing it just falls apart but anyway let's let's give it a try you ready here we go <laughs> this is awesome see how it's coming apart oh this is silly come on i'll, I'll try to hold it together <laughs> it's tough because it's warped oh so you have to you have to kind of hold it together come on daffy you can do it buddy <laughs> come on there we go oh it's it's tricky but you, you can see what's happening there let me show you on the cardboard see how it's kind of like warped and everything so again you'd have to find a way to compress this and flatten these out it'll probably work perfect and so you can see it's like regular thin cardboard here but then an extra thick layer of cardboard here which keeps it keeps daffy duck's little cart inside the track and that's what that little that's that little stick thing <laughs> I don't know. That's what that's for. So anyways, there you go. It's the Daffy Duck race course. Next up, we have the Tweety Bird bobblehead, which is just cute and adorable. Look at this thing. It's a bobblehead. And it sounds like when you're moving it around, it sounds like there's something in there. But if you hold it like this and shake it, there's nothing in there. But it kind of sounds like something's rattling in there. Isn't that weird? So maybe it's a spring in there that's kind of like rubbing on the plastic. I don't know, but it's cute and adorable. <laughs> Look at those feet. And so they're sitting on a Looney Tunes back in action suitcase. And if you flip it over on the back here, Looney Tunes in Africa. So they're taking a trip to Africa. I don't know. <laughs> this is cute. Look at this. And it sits well too. So you can just put it on your desk or whatever and just give it a little love tap once in a while. Just for some simple amusement. <laughs> Look at that. It's so adorable. So there you go. It's the Tweety Bird bobblehead the next one up is the tasmanian devil look at this guy oh he's one of my all-time favorites from my childhood <laughs> the tasmanian devil look at this thing so it looks like he's spinning and swirling around and it comes with a couple of extra pieces here so let me show you this so you have this little base right here and you can see the little divot in there and that's where the tasmanian devil goes and let's see have a look there so you see bugs and daffy hiding behind this tree and it's like a branch right there and this is a really cool gimmick with this this little toy set here so you push this on get the base put on and then watch this so you take the tasmanian devil you place him in the little notch little groove right there and he kind of just stands there and floats look at this oh let's see if i can show you because this is actually really heavy and the reason why is because there's magnets in here and it's like a floating little tasmanian spinning thing <laughs> this is great come on you can stay on there there we go this is tricky i'm trying to hold it steady and give you an up close look here there we go oh come on so basically look at how this is set it down here so basically there's a magnet up here and a magnet in the top of taz's head 
and he just kind of floats there and you just give him a little tap like this and he spins around look at that it's like the polarization like the magnetic polar opposite thing going on and it holds him in place and you just keep tapping him don't tap it too hard and then you can get it going pretty good if you got good hand eye coordination which i don't have oh see and <laughs> that's what happens but you can actually get it going pretty good i've been messing with it and you can get it lined up and then give it a little spin and look at that it just kind of floats there that's so cool <laughs> so i don't know what to call this one so we'll just call this one the floating spinning tasmanian devil now this one's really kind of cool this is the looney tunes back in action official passport and you can see it's kind of laminated and shiny it's really kind of heavy because there's a lot of cool stuff going on inside there and you can see bugs bunny hanging out in the front there and you open this up and inside let's start with this we have the passport the looney tunes passport so let's see what's going on with this so there is a look at the front nothing on the back we open this up and inside it starts out right here your identification so you would put your name address your home phone number school grade teacher a couple of characters taz and bugs and you can color those in if you wanted to make it look cool and then inside there's some stamps for when you travel you got your passport they stamp it depending on, you know depending on where you go and then right here back in action what's that reading there the looney tunes are back in action the looney tunes africa what's this one paris and that one is also looney tunes paris over here it's africa and then right here looney tunes ranch and then what's on the back here so it looks like you can just take some basic notes right here and there's daffy duck so you can color in daffy if you feel so inclined get your coloring pencils out or whatever and make it all spiffy looking so there's the passport there and we'll put this back in oops stuff falling out and then we have get back over here okay so we got a couple of, like cards here let's pull this one out so we have a bugs bunny spy id card which is kind of cool looney tunes spy bugs bunny authorized signature and then you flip it over and on the back it reads your photo here so you put a picture of your giant noggin on there looney tunes spy top secret the real for real spies only you can sign it there and then what's this other card here this is looks like a ticket so it looks like an the tower eiffel looney tunes paris la tour d'amour admit one so this is like a eiffel tower ticket so you can go and climb the tower and then we have a what is this map of the world looney tunes back in action so we got some characters there so there's bugs leaning on the tower of what is it eiffel tower and then we have oh look at that peppy Le Pew riding a little scooter we got taz there daffy duck yosemite sam and tweety bird right there so what does this read so there's like a puzzle thing that you got to do with this little like a i don't know it's like a little blurry diamond shaped i don't know let's read it <laughs> let's just get on with it so it reads let's see solve parts one two and three and decode the message so it's like a decoder your mission how to use a special lens so this is decoding lens how to use your special lens use your special lens to find hidden pictures in the map lay smooth side of the lens flat on the paper okay so there's a rough side and this is like the smooth side there so you would definitely okay so it wants the smooth side here and then each hidden picture in the parts one and two has a letter next to it write each letter under the correct picture in the box provided find six hidden jewels like those pictured in part three each jewel has a letter next to it okay so down here you would have to find those symbols and then find daffy and bugs and then find the diamonds and then each one has a letter with it all right let's try this let's see if we can do this so we're moving this little decoder around here and you can see it's, here's the smooth side and this is kind of like the rough textured side and then you you have to hold it really flat and it's going to be hard to see on camera but we're going to do our best so let's go over here by peppy Le Pew. so basically it reads take this latest flat and then trust me when i tell you you got to get it really tight on there and then you'll be able to see everything you're supposed to find and then you turn it and as you're turning it it unblurs it and kind of makes it clear so let me show you this this is kind of tricky but i think we can do this let me show you right there see the little diamond and it has the letter i above it Hopefully you can see that. And if you turn it, 
see what's happening there it's kind of it messes with your eyeballs that's crazy all right see now it's not in focus but then you keep turning it and look at that i think that's about as good as you're going to get it right there and then you would just kind of take this now it'd be a lot easier if you if you were if you had this in hand and you can kind of hover over this and kind of slide this because you have to push it really tight in order to really see what's there so let's see if we can and then you have to spin it as well so let's see we'll go here to africa it's got to be something here in africa right and there is look at that boy this is really tricky so there right there oh we got it and what's the letter we got it so it's letter o and then you would continue on, on all the different continents and different countries and everything and then you would find all the little symbols you'd find bugs and daffy and then you have to find all the diamonds and decipher all the words for this so my guess would be is there a cheat on here my guess would be it would say back in action <laughs> i mean why wouldn't it right but it could be i could be wrong but maybe you'll have to get this and figure it out so there you go everyone it's the Looney Tunes Back in Action official passport. And last I'm gonna say we have the Magnetic Bugs Bunny puzzle, which is awesome and really hard because I've been messing with it and I, it's very tricky and I'll explain to you in a second. So here is the little six puzzle pieces in there. You gotta get them all in order to, to form the, the picture there. And there's Bugs hanging out and he actually attaches to the side. You see the little hole, got the little nub right there and that attaches right there like that and now he stays in place and it makes for a great display piece to flip it around in the back and then it shows looney tunes back in action and there is taz chasing bugs bunny and daffy duck and it looks like they are by some kind of hidden temple or something there that's kind of cool it's definitely from the movies it's like kind of like a movie scene type thing and let's see so what you do is you take bugs and this is like a Magnetic wand, so underneath here is a magnet, and it's not very powerful, and that's what makes this very tricky. So if you have a smaller magnet, you get a little more powerful magnet, it'll probably be a lot easier. So the one in here isn't that strong, and then obviously in each one of these six pieces, there's a little piece of metal. So all you do, you've seen this before, you take Bugs Bunny here, and you rub him on there, and you gotta kinda shake it and help it out. Like I said, it's not that powerful. And then you gotta twist it and turn it, and make sure you drag the appropriate piece and you got to make sure it's spun right and it's really really tricky so you can spend a little while messing with this and it helps if you keep it like really flat that i get it right nope i got it sideways and it's like <laughs> this one's tough let's see if we can get it spun around yeah there's no quick easy way to do this this one definitely will take some skill this is definitely a skill game as simple as it is it's going to take some skill because the magnet just doesn't want to cooperate right and then okay so we got that one right and the thing is you got to get it just right there we go you can see what i'm doing here and let's see i don't even know where this one goes i think it goes down over here like you got to move them like one at a time and kind of swap them in and in and out and, and get them just in the right place and oh it's a puzzle and it's tricky and it's meant to be hard to make you use your brain and your imagination and really figure it out but i would recommend that if you get this maybe maybe the one you get if you get this maybe this one will be stronger than mine but the magnet in my bugs bunny here is not that strong so it's hindering me but that's okay that is all right i absolutely still love this thing so there you go it's the bugs bunny magnetic puzzle and there you have it everyone the looney tunes back in action set of five awesome little movie toys released by wendy's back in 2003 i'm an absolute fan of looney tunes and i love this set it's a complete win you got the little racing daffy duck thing here you just get those flattened out and that thing will spin around for forever that's so cool you got the passport the little floating taz the bobblehead tweety bird and this crazy hard puzzle which is just uh, <laughs> but still lots of fun oh this is a must-have for your collection go get this set you'll love it thanks for watching everybody take care we'll see you next time